Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to Guns N' Roses Central and today we're doing an episode of 5 Things You Didn't Know About. So we're talking about Slash's solo album from 2010 and I want to talk about 5 things you may or may not have known about that record. So number 1, there's a song on the record called Crucify the Dead which Ozzy Osbourne sings lead vocals on but also present on that track that may surprise you is Taylor Hawkins of the Foo Fighters. He sings background vocals on the track. So Taylor Hawkins did an interview a couple years ago where he was asked about what it was like to sing on the record. Here's what he had to say. So he said, I got a call from the guy that produced the record. He said, I'm making the Slash record. Do you want to come down and do some background vocals for the song he's doing with Ozzy? So I thought I'd get there and Slash would be sitting in the corner with his hat and Ozzy would be over there. No one was there, just the producer. Number two, when the album first came out, there was many rumors about what the meaning of the song Crucify the Dead was about. In fact, a lot of people thought it was about Axl Rose, and Slash had to come out and say it wasn't about Axl Rose. So the lyrics of the song Crucify the Dead go like this. A loaded gun jammed by a rose, the thorns are not around your head, your ego cut you till you bled. Amazingly, Slash claimed the song was not about Rose. Instead, he claimed that Ozzy Osbourne, who sings on the song, wrote about his own experiences. Now, Slash was asked about the song during Canadian Music Week, uh, and he said the song represents the situation he's had in relationships with other, other musicians, referring to Ozzy. Yes, there were some key lines in there that were very suggestive of my experience, but he said, no, this is just an overall picture of the issues. About a month after Slash made his comments on Crucify the Dead, Ozzy came out and commented on the song as well. He said that Crucify the Dead lyrics were about what he would say to Axl Rose if he were Slash. So Ozzy said, Slash sent me the music and I worked on the melody and some lyrics for him. And what I did with the lyrics, I thought what's always gotten me about the Guns N' Roses guys, and I say to Slash all the time, do you realize what you guys did? You'll never understand. You guys could have been the next Rolling Stones, the next super band, Ozzy said. And what I wrote in the song Crucify the Dead is if I were Slash, what I would send in the message to Axel. I've never met Axel, but I would be pissed off. And the lyrics are about that. Number three. Now, while Slash got most of the singers he wanted on his solo record, there was one singer he wasn't able to get. So that singer turned out to be Jack White. So he was being interviewed and he said, I wanted to get Jack White to sing on something, but he didn't want to sing. Slash told Music Radar, he said, I'll play drums, I'll play guitar, but I don't want to sing. He was the one guy I wanted to work with. Pretty much everyone else I went after I managed to get. Number four, Steven Adler actually appeared on the album playing on the song Baby Can't Drive, which featured Alice Cooper, Nicole Scherzinger, Steven Adler, and Flea. And this song wasn't included on the main track listing. Instead, it was a bonus track that was available on Napster.com. And it was a bonus track along with Paradise City, which featured Fergie and Cypress Hill. Number five, as far back as 2007, Slash expressed his desire to write a solo album with different singers. And in an interview a couple years later, Slash's second wife, Perla, mentioned that the album was originally going to be called Slash and Friends. However, in the end, the title would just be changed to Slash. So that does it for this episode of 5 Things You Didn't Know About. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know your thoughts on Slash's solo album. Are you, were you a fan of it or were you not? Let me know in the comments section below. And as always, guys, please hit the uh, subscribe button if you love Guns N' Roses and want to see more videos just like this. And follow me on Facebook and Twitter for exclusive Guns N' Roses stuff you don't see on my YouTube channel. And you guys can also go support me on Patreon. The link to my Patreon page is down below as well.